G'day Bond Knitters. Today I'm going to show you a cast on and cast off that look practically identical in width, feel and the amount of stretch that it has. This is the crochet cast on on the very bottom. It's a very simple cast on that's done across the needles and the cast off is also done across the needles and that's actually the key as to why it looks similar in the amount of stretch and the width of the fabric. I found that with an e-wrap cast on there was no real equivalent of a cast off other than the back stitch bind off but that's done around the stitches so it produces a different type of tension. This is a close-up of the cast on. The cast off looks more like a pearl sort of stitch. Okay so I'm going to show you how to cast on. If you already know how to cast on you can fast forward a little bit but um, for those of you not sure, I'll just give you a quick catch up. Tie a slip knot with your yarn and don't tighten it too much around your latch hook. I insert the latch hook between the first and second needle. At this stage it doesn't matter if your needles are open or closed and place the yarn in and pull down. It's as simple as that. It does help if you've got your green cards holding the stitches, the needles forward, sorry. Also another tip that I like um, is to maintain the latch hook at a 45 degree angle. That helps avoiding trip ups. When you get to the last needle, simply place that last loop over that last needle and the yarn between the second and the last needle. Thread through your carriage and let's start doing some knitting. I like to open up my needles, place my weight. Now you can obviously do this a number of ways. You can um, cast on some waste yarn and then some, then some ravel cord and then do the cast on etc. This is just a very simple way to do it. Other way, oh yes, another tip here is I don't like to hang pegs off whilst I'm placing the um, the weighted hem over the elastic because that way there's a little bit more stretch in the elastic as you can see. And then you place your pegs. I found that if you place your pegs before you've placed the hem over, it just sort of takes up all the elasticity of the, the cord. Sort of defeats the purpose. Oh yes, and then knit through slowly and then knit as much as you like. When you're ready to cast off, push the needles forward, keep them in their hooks, just like this. And then place the green card in to hold the needles to the front. Open up the latches. And grab your latch hook. In the stitch, on the right hand side of the needle, place the yarn in and pull through. in the stitch through the right hand side, place the yarn in and pull through. If you wanted to do the, so this is resulting in a, um, a purl stitch on the work side. If you wanted to do it in the reverse, you could come from, instead of the front as I am through the stitch, you could come up from behind. Or just grab a garter bar, flip the stitches over and then off you go. As you can see, the key to this cast off is the fact that all the stitches are remaining on the needles and the yarn that is being pulled through is actually going over the needles, which is how you maintain the same width as the cast on. I have a smaller latch hook from a smaller knitting machine, which I prefer to use because it's a smaller latch and it's, it's easier to fit through the stitches, but I'm just showing that it can actually be done with a bond latch hook. It's just a little bit slower. When you get to the last stitch, same procedure, just wrap it through. I like to also pull the yarn through that last loop that I've created there, snip the single strand, and that's it. Now to take the work off, don't be tempted to pull, push the work back against the needle bed. You simply take off your weights and then lift the work towards you and up and over very carefully. And there you have it. 
So the top and the bottom is pretty much, I mean, I did, this is acrylic yarn, and I did iron the living daylights out of it. I know you're not supposed to, but um, for this exercise, I did iron the yarn nice and flat so that you could see what it looks like.